Google Fi has been my cell phone service provider for the last four years. And for me, it has two main advantages. The first has to do with travel. When you travel abroad to more than 200 countries or regions, it will actually give you 3G or 4G speeds a lot of the time, instead of the 2G speeds that a lot of other carriers are capped at. And the other thing is that you pay the same price for data abroad as you would at home in the US. The second thing has to do with pricing. The pricing model scales really well with how you use the service month to month. So if you have a light data month, it costs very little to use the service. And if you have a heavy data month, it makes it pretty easy to go unlimited and not pay a fortune for your data, including when you're abroad. Now, Google Fi isn't for everyone, especially if you're a heavy data user. So definitely look at my other video that talks more generally about Google Fi to see if it's a good fit for you. But if Google Fi is a good fit for you, I have some tricks that can help you maximize your experience on the platform, both at home and abroad. Note that this is gonna be quite technical, so I suggest you pick out the things that you're really interested in and then pay attention to the timestamps. Otherwise, I think it might be a tad boring. But if you are interested in maximizing that experience no matter where you are, definitely watch on. The first really cool feature of Google Fi I wanna talk about is having two phone numbers. This is done by setting up a second phone number on a free VoIP calling service called Google Voice. What can you do with two phone numbers? I can think of a few really cool things. The first is to have a separate phone number for personal use and a separate one for business use. The second is to have something like a permanent phone number that can travel with you no matter whether you're home or abroad and no matter whether you're using Google Fi or any other cell phone provider anywhere in the world. And the third thing you can do is on your professional phone number, you can easily record calls without setting up any additional apps or anything like that. So I'm gonna get into all of that in this video. And I do also wanna note that this is actually possible with other American cell phone providers. Um, it just was a little bit more difficult with Google Fi until just June of this year. The other thing that you need for this is a US-based Google account. So you're gonna need both an American cell phone carrier including Google Fi, and a US-based Google account. The advantage for Google Fi users over the other carriers here is that Google now makes it really easy to port your old number that you used as your phone number for the actual device to the virtual Google Voice service, and then it will automatically assign a new number to the device without canceling your service. So that's a really great feature for Fi users that is much more difficult for everyone else. Now, I recently did this on my device where I ported my main phone number to Google Voice and then Google automatically assigned a new number to the device, so I have two numbers. And people still call the Google Voice number mostly, except for a few close contacts. I don't give that number out to anyone else. However, I have found some caveats with using Google Voice as your main number. The first is dialing out to make calls. So you can actually set it up where on the dialer app on your phone, when you select the contact and you click call, it will actually ask you before completing the call whether you want to use your Google Voice number or the carrier number. Now the issue here is that if you choose to use the Google Voice number, it's always gonna try to use mobile data or Wi-Fi. And the issue with this is that you're, if you're in the US and you're out and about, well, it's gonna try to use your data which is not free on Google Fi unless you have the unlimited plan. And in addition, the quality of the call may be worse if you're, especially if you're moving and going between towers a lot. Now there is a workaround for this issue and the solution is to dial out using the Google Voice app, making sure that the settings in the Google Voice app have set to use carrier only. If you use carrier only, it's gonna to try to make the Google Voice call over the carrier minutes instead of over data. So basically with Google Voice, if you wanna initiate a call over mobile data or Wi-Fi, you're gonna to wanna to use the dialer app. And if you wanna initiate a call over the carrier uh, minutes, then you'll wanna go into the Google Voice app, even if that sounds a little backward. The second thing to note is that text messages and voicemails intended for the Google Voice number will not appear in the dialer and messages apps on your phone. They'll actually appear in the Google Voice app. It's not a huge deal, just something you have to get used to. And the third thing that might be a challenge for some people is that Google Voice currently does not support HD voice for high quality calling. 
and it also does not support RCS, the new text messaging standard. With that said, you can still contact everybody. It's just not the latest and greatest technology on the Google Voice specific number. It's really not hard to get used to this setup, I found. The main thing that you have to remember is that if you want to use carrier minutes to call out, you've got to use the Google Voice app. And if you want to use uh, Wi-Fi to call out or maybe mobile data, you would use the dialer app on the phone. People who live entirely within the Apple ecosystem love that you can use your Mac or your iPad to send text messages. Well, if you have a Google Fi Android device, there are three ways that you can actually do this. And the main benefit here is that you're not limited to Mac or iPad devices. You can actually do this on Windows and other Android devices that are not your phone. The first two ways center around texting from your device number, so the number that's actually associated with your phone itself. And the third way will have to do with Google Voice. The first way we're gonna talk about is using Messages by Google, the default text messaging app on Pixel phones. And the way I'm gonna do this is using something called Browser Apps, which basically allows you to turn a website into an app on your computer. So even though there's no Android Messages app for Mac or for Windows computers, we can still make an app on those platforms. And the browser of choice that I'm gonna to use today is Microsoft Edge, my favorite browser on the Mac. But keep in mind that this is also gonna work on Google Chrome if you're using a Windows or Mac PC. So to do this, open Microsoft Edge and go to messages.google.com. Check the box to remember this device. Then on your phone, open the Messages app. Go to the menu in the upper right and click Messages for Web. Scan the QR code. Back on Microsoft Edge on the PC. Go to the menu in the top right of the window. Hover over Apps, then click Install this site as an app. Then click Install. On the Mac, I like to keep the Messages icon in the Mac dock for easy access. One thing to note with this method though is that you will not receive notifications on your computer unless the app is open. So one thing that I like to do is open the app and then minimize it. The second method is to use Google Hangouts as your default text messaging app everywhere. Now the advantage of this is it acts more like iMessage where you have actual apps on all the devices that you're going to use. The downside though is that Google is not really updating Google Hangouts anymore. So there are actually some features that are not supported like RCS text messaging. Now you can install Google Hangouts pretty much everywhere. On your PC or Mac, there are browser apps. So if you're using Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome, there's a Google Hangouts app that you can download. And if you're using an iPad or an Android tablet, you can download the Google Hangouts there and it'll all be synced up with your phone. The final method is gonna be for people who are using Google Voice to send text messages from a second phone number and they wanna be able to access that from their PC and other devices. So on the PC, you're gonna use the same setup as the Android messages, but you just have to change the URL that you enter when you create the browser app. But on devices like the iPad and other Android tablets, well, there's actually a Google Voice app available for those. And again, it's gonna sync widely across all of those platforms. Another feature that Apple users love is the ability to make and receive calls using your iPad or your Mac. Well, there's a way to do that with Google Fi too. And the advantage here is that it's gonna work not only on Apple devices, but also on PCs and other Android devices that are not your phone. For making and receiving calls from the number that's associated with your device, you're gonna to wanna to install the Google Hangouts app. And that's gonna be whether or not you wanna use Google Hangouts for sending and receiving text messages. Then on the computer or tablet that you want to be able to make and receive calls from, you'll want to install the Google Hangouts app or the Chrome or Microsoft Edge browser extension. Once you have the Hangouts app installed on all the devices you wanna use, you're gonna to wanna to head into the Hangouts app on your phone. Head into settings, and then under the account your phone number is associated with, You'll want to look for the section that says Google Fi, and then you want to say, turn on incoming phone calls. Now, if you're using a second phone number with Google Voice, you can also set up that number to be able to ring multiple devices. And the way you're going to want to do that is install a browser app like we did in the text messages section for Google Voice. Or if your device already supports Google Voice, such as the iPad, you can install the app there. 
Then you'll want to head into the Google Voice settings and select all the devices that are linked with your account and you can turn them on which device you would like to ring on incoming calls. When you're roaming internationally in other countries, Google Fi is really great because data is charged at the same price that you would pay in the US and text messages are always free. But if you wanna make a call, the call is actually charged at 20 cents per minute. Well, there's a way to force the phone to make calls over Wi-Fi, which means that you'll have either free calls to the US or at a much reduced rate to most other countries. Here's how to do this. The first thing you always wanna do when you wanna force the phone to make Wi-Fi calls is to disable the cellular network. The easiest way to do this that I found is to turn on airplane mode and then go back to the top drawer of the device and turn back on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth still, but the cellular network will now be off. Now, if you wanna place a call using the device's number, you'll wanna download this app called Hangouts Dialer. Then all you have to do is open up the Hangouts Dialer app dial out and simply place your call and it will automatically go over Wi-Fi. Now, if you wanna call out using your Google Voice number, you're gonna to wanna to use the Google Voice app for this. And you actually have to go into the Google Voice app and change a setting. So that setting we set before, which was to prefer using the cellular network, now we're gonna set that to prefer using mobile data and Wi-Fi. Now, don't forget when you wanna go back to calling over the cellular network, you're gonna to need to reverse these settings. So the first thing is to turn the airplane mode off. And then if you're using the Google Voice app, you'll want to use the use carrier only setting. One of the most interesting features of Google Fi is the fact that you can pause your service for up to three months. And I can think of two use cases for this. The first is somebody who's traveling abroad to another country and they're staying there for a week, a month, or even a few months and they find that the Google Voice data rate is actually quite expensive compared to what you could get on a local data SIM card, often with better service too. The other use case is somebody who's actually using Google Fi as a secondary phone number and they really only intend to use it for travel. So what they would do is they would pause their service while they're at home in the US. But the problem with pausing your Google Fi service is that you'll no longer be able to make any calls, receive any calls, or make any texts using your device's number. And that includes using Google Hangouts, so that number will be completely disabled. Plus, you won't be able to use any of the SIM cards on your account, for example, using the data on your iPad. It's all shut off. But there is a workaround that will allow you to still use your main number to make and receive calls and send and receive texts, even though your service is paused. And the best part of it is it's completely free. Now, the way to do this is to port your main number to Google Voice. And Google really makes this easy now. So what will happen is you'll go to this website and within a few clicks, your old number will now be ported to Google Voice and you'll automatically be assigned a new number for the device. The new number is the one that's gonna get shut off when you pause your service, but your old number will now live on Google Voice. Keep in mind though that this process takes about 24 hours and it actually did take about 24 hours for me to have my number go from the device to the Google Voice service. You won't lose your service in the meantime, but it will not go to Google Voice for 24 hours. So it's not an instantaneous thing. And then even though your Fi service is gonna be completely paused at this point, you'll still be able to use Google Voice over Wi-Fi or over another carrier's mobile data to make and receive calls and send and receive texts. And you can check out some of the other sections in this video for taking advantage of Google Voice on your computer for calls and text messages. Are you still with me? I know that was a ton, but I hope that these tips and tricks will help you take more advantage of the Google Fi service, whether you're at home or abroad. Now, if you haven't signed up for Google Fi yet to take advantage of some of these amazing features, I actually have a referral link that will give you a $20 account credit once you've used the service for 30 days. And that link is gonna be in the description and comments below. However, my link actually doesn't pay me back anymore because I've referred about 100 people to Google Fi at this point. So they're not interested in giving me any more account credits. So if you use my link, only you are gonna get $20 off of service, uh, not me. However, I do encourage existing Fi users to post the referral link in the comments below. That way, if anyone new wants to sign up for Google Fi, both of you can get a $20 credit 
after you've used the service for 30 days. If you've got any other interesting Google Fi tips, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.